Hello, just a little bit wet in my garden today, but things are growing. And these are my fruit trees. I have plums and quinces, although I don't think the quinces will amount to much because it's just a small tree. Oh, it's drizzling, but that's okay. This is my apple tree that I moved a few weeks back and it seems to be hanging in there. And the pomegranate, although I don't think the pomegranates are really worth me growing this tree because apparently that's it. So I might have to investigate into a different um, variety. Perhaps you could um, suggest one to me. It died commiserations. There's something growing down there at the base of the trunk. Who knows what this pear tree was grafted to. But it'll be going into the, in the compost, I guess. Apple trees are doing beautifully. Uh, even though I transplanted them because they were only very young. Oh, look at that. We even have apples. That's an old um, English variety, that one. No idea what the name is. And I'm afraid the cherry tree has always given me grief. Uh, it's really doing well giving me grief this year. But I will hang in there. Um, gave it a good haircut and perhaps it will um, come good. And a funny thing here, my fajoas, I have two trees that have been treated the exact same way. This one is absolutely covered in fruit. And this one has nothing, not a flower on it. So I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, at least I have one that's doing well. Small tip, don't buy this rubbish. And I'll show you why. These were planted in that compost and not doing very well. Look at that little tomato there. Anyway, some things are okay. And this was planted, same punnet of tomatoes, in an old pot I had sitting in the greenhouse. On the same day, in crappy old soil. So there you go. And these are my capsicum plants that I had in the hothouse and kept them there over winter. And they seem to be doing pretty good. And this is my second kitchen garden. It's doing a little bit better, but not much. I'm not too sure what to do here. Advice is always welcome. I think I might try a bit of feed on there. Anyway, this is the first of my um, raised beds. And the cucumbers are slowly climbing up the trellis. Carrots are growing well. And strawberries, I'll, I'll let the runners do their thing because I want more strawberries in here. Well, fig trees growing nicely. Oh, sage. Sage gives me grief. Never knows what it wants to do. It was looking good, now it's not looking good. Well, there's a tomato hiding in there somewhere and that'll, that'll be fine there. This is the second carrot bed, raised carrot bed. It's doing quite well and in, right in the centre I've got some beans. Um, lazy wife beans I think they're called. We'll see how they go. Rhubarb's gone mad and I will have to bring some inside and dehydrate it. Parsley over there, self-seeded. And another fig tree. Actually has a piece of fruit on it. There's potatoes hiding amongst there. They're dotted all over the garden and they're doing well. Well, for some reason the tomatoes seem to love growing in this pot in my hothouse. So we'll just leave it there. And it can creep amongst this this beast. And we'll see how it does. Onions, spring onions they are, doing really well. 
and these strawberry pots aren't doing too badly. Ooh, what's in there? Something's been in there. Bad. Yeah. Something's having a meal. And my grapevine has just gone berserk. This this one I'm not sure. I think it's the red one. Or it could be the white one. There's two. It's just gone mad. There you go. You can see the, the entire fence is covered in grapes with lots of bunches hanging off it. And there's some more spring onions, a few peas, potatoes. I'm keeping this bed kind of vacant to give it a bit of a rest. And my tomato experiment, it's one end of it, it's still green, and I planted them on their side to see how they go. And that's the other one, not doing too well. There's a nice healthy potato. And that's a comfrey that I planted up. It's doing well there. And there's one that I've previously planted. It's a very happy plant. So this is the borage. And it's in a cage. We had a bit of wind. And some of the branches have fallen over. No, it's okay. It's doing its job. Bringing in the bees when it's sunny. And you've got to watch this stuff because it will go berserk in your garden. There's one of my zucchinis peeking through there, and I think that's a dahlia plant next to a potato, and another potato under my apple tree. This is really a bit of a crazy garden here. There's some bee attracting flowers. More potatoes. And the raspberries have just gone berserk, and I'll be ripping quite a few of those out. In there, I planted a, um, what do you call this, a passion fruit vine, which doesn't really know what it wants to do yet. There's my raspberry patch. Nicely overgrown. There's quite a bit of fruit, not ready yet. My potato patch. There's quite a few potato plants in there. All doing pretty well. And I guess I could probably dig a few up soon. Yeah. My leeks have gone gonna go to seed. And we'll we'll keep a couple of them and they can go nuts. And there's my nectarine tree covered in fruit. And it's huge. I have to give it a haircut after it's fruited. Uh, can't quite get in there. I did plant some more beetroot in amongst the, the leeks. That's the carrot bed. I think this is an orange tree. I'm pretty sure it is. And it is covered in fruit. So we'll see if anything comes of it because I've got three orange trees and they're all doing well this year lots and lots I suppose it'll dump a lot of them and there's a few pea plants that I'm training up my um, bean climber but it's a pea climber for now and strawberry patch it's gone mad no strawberries yet I don't think it's hot enough and another apple tree. This one's called Pinky and it isn't going to get terribly big but it does give a lot of fruit as long as the parrots don't get to it before I do. And these lovely little flowers have self seeded all over the place which is fine. I'll probably transfer a few of these the bees love them. More potatoes, 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 leeks, grapevine, 
and my kale, which I visit daily, and I munch on it, and I break the stems off, and check for, for uh, worms, caterpillars, and then I eat it, and it's really yummy. Apparently it's very good to do that. Oh look, there's a potato popping through there. Another fruit tree. I think this one's a mandarin. But there's not much on it this year. Seems to have dropped a lot of its fruit. There's a few. And more kale. Lots of yummy yumminess. I love these thick stalks. They kind of taste like um, broccoli and asparagus mixed together. And the leaves, I'll have to harvest them soon and dehydrate a few more. Mm, blueberries, not doing too well. But they only put them in last summer. There's another one hiding under there. You can't really see it. And there's a grape that I rescued from my arch and I thought We'll see how it goes and it's come good. We'll see, see what it does. And look at that, this thing, this zucchini has literally doubled overnight because I was out here yesterday in the heat and we had a very hot day yesterday. It's just gone nuts. And then I've got these flowers. Um, I think they're calendula flowers. So they're for the bees. More of the self seeded ones that have the little yellow flower on them. Beans gone nuts. They've actually grown a lot since yesterday. Leeks and the same tomatoes that I showed you in the compost in my kitchen garden. These came out of the same punnets and I planted them here and they are doing very well. Little capsicum plant that I rescued. And you can't see it, but behind the, the beans, I've got a row of um, what are they called? Beetroots. You might just be able to see some leaves up the end there. This is my little um, pot full of wild strawberries and a pineapple sage, I think it is doing well. Um, lamb's ears, fantastic plants because they draw the bees into the garden. done it again. I pushed the wrong button. Oh well, that's my, my little bush that has the berries which you, when, when they fully ripe you grind them up. I guess you dry them and grind them up. Turn them into sugar. Another orange tree, lots of fruit. Fruits. That's my third orange tree and it's fruit looks like it's well established. So we might be getting a lot of oranges. Just wish they'd hurry up and grow because they do take a long time. The raspberries are coming. Slowly but surely we might get a few. It's a decent sized patch and it's covered in lots of fruit and something pretty. Can't have a garden without roses. Well, I hope you enjoyed my walk through the garden in the rain. I enjoy coming out here in the rain and be sure to give us a thumbs up and visit my Facebook page, She's a Bottler. And for those of you overseas, I do speak a little German. It's 
So, hi to Germany because I visit the German um, YouTubers quite often. Love their videos. So, I bid you all a good day. I'll be the Zen.